Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with my e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. I've already done my brows with my cream eyeliner from e.l.f. as well in the shade Coffee. So I'm just going to make sure that I have an even layer of this primer on my face. And now I'm going in with my Infallible Pro Matte Foundation by L'Oreal in the shade Soft Sable. And um, I'm just going to build up the coverage. This is a matte foundation, so it's best for you to um, go in with thin layers at a time um, just so that it doesn't crinkle um, when you're applying it and so that you can really just build up the coverage. Now I'm just uh, making sure that everything is even. I'm blending as I go and I'm going to apply the foundation onto my eyelids. I just swiped a little on my forehead so I wouldn't get the foundation kicked into my eyelashes. And I'm just gonna go in and start blending foundation on my forehead. I like a full coverage um, look, so I'm just going in with very thin layers until I am happy with the coverage. And so this is a really nice foundation. It's really skin-like. Um, I had to use this because I ran out of my other one. So now I'm going to take a little bit more foundation. I'm going to even out my other, the other side of my face. And I'm also going to bring some of this foundation down my neck um, just to cover up this um, discoloration that I have there. Okay. And just making sure that everything is blended and that I don't see any brush marks because you don't want to see brush strokes at all. So make sure you blend because it's very important. Alrighty, now I'm going in with my LA Girl. Pro Conceal Concealer in the Corrective Yellow. And I'm going to go under with a triangle underneath my eyes, a line under the nose, as well as two lines on my ch my um, cheeks, underneath my um, underneath where my contour would be, and on my chin. So I just took a little bit of my e.l.f. setting spray, and I'm using this to dampen my beauty blender so that when I go in and blend everything, it just melts together. That's what you want. You don't want to see any lines or edges um, because that's not a good look. And you just don't want your makeup to just look blotchy. So I'm going in and making sure that I blend everything. And I'm um, just going to keep patting until I don't see any lines or edges because that's super important. Now I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Powder in the shade Well Rested. And I like this powder. I like this to be my lightest highlight. And I'm also going to bring a little bit more of this powder around the socket of my eyes as well as underneath. And I'm making sure that I taper the ends so you don't really see it when I blend my second highlight powder. I'm also bringing the shade down the center of my nose and I'm just going to blend everything out so that it's not a harsh bright white line down the center of my nose. Okay, this is my Contour Blush 2 palette from BH and I'm going to be using this nice peach color on the top and I'm going to fade this in with that very light highlight. I'm also bringing this on my eyelids and also um, using this as a highlight underneath my contour. It's not super bright, so um, it's going to give the right amount of attention without drawing way too much attention to my cheekbones. So here I am bringing in this highlight, just like that, and um, there we go. Now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Queen Natural Hue Bronzer in Ebony. This is my absolute favorite contour powder. It doesn't leave you looking chalky or ashy, um, which I've noticed with other contouring powders. And um, I just like this um, along my cheekbones, under my chin, along my jawline. And I sometimes go on my forehead, but I'm going to avoid that today because I have the scarf and I just don't want to mess it up. So um, now I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder and I'm just going to blend everything and buff everything together so that I have an even well blended look and um, I'm also going to use that to set the makeup on my neck as well. And 
and just like that. Oops, my earring fell. It's all right, because it's back. And now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Classic Blush in Ice Plum. This is my favorite. Um, a little bit can go a long way, or a lot can go a little way. Um, it's a very subtle blush, and um, you can't really get in trouble with this one. Now I'm using my Milani Tentastic Face and Body Bronzer. And I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones. And it's down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. Just for a nice sun kiss look. And now I'm going in with my Beauty Adventure Palette by Profusion. And I'm going to use this nice peachy coppery color. And I'm going to apply this right above my crease and stop right below my um, brow bone. And I'm just making sure that I've got an even layer on both eyes. Um, you just don't want it to be a block, like color blocked in. So make sure that you really blend it and um, make sure those lines and edges don't really show up. I'm also bringing this color down below my lower lash line just to tie the whole look together. And um, I'm connecting that color on the outer corner. So I'm winging it out. Now I'm going in with this lovely golden yellow and um, I'm going to be applying this solely on my eyelids and um, I'm just using a sweeping motion because I just don't want the eyeshadow to flicker everywhere and um, this is very highly pigmented so um, I don't feel like brushing it. Um, when you brush it instead of swiping it you're just going to push and I brush the powder away so I just really want it to stay and I'm adding a little bit more and now I'm going to take a thinner brush and um, I'm going to go in with this dark coppery plum and I'm going to use this in my crease in the outer V um, the outer V of my eye and I'm going to pull that color into my crease and I'm doing this on both sides just to add a little bit more depth to this look and um yeah, because I wanted to. Um, and um, just might add a little bit more, or not. So now I'm going in with my Tarte Emphasize um, Nude Pencil, and I'm brightening the rim of my waterline, just the lower one, just to brighten my eyes up a little bit more. And there we go. I really like this pencil. I like nude instead of white. It doesn't look chalky. Um, and I feel like it looks kind of gross sometimes. So now I'm going in with my NYC liquid liner and I'm creating a really nice thin winged line and I'm just making sure to connect that wing to the center of the eye. And I'm going in with a standard eyelash color. I have long lashes so a great lengthening mascara does it. This is my uh, L'Oreal telescopic mascara. And um, a great tip for the bottom lashes to, is to tap the mascara wand into the eyelashes, um, the bottom lashes, not to swipe it through because then you can build up the product and really get those lashes to look extremely thick and luscious. So there we go for the eye look. That's all. Now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Lip Lava Lip Gloss. It is a lovely coppery iridescent um, peach color and I, I've really been digging this color so much I just haven't put it in a video for anything yet but um it's time because it's spring new things new wave new chain new turn of leaves change I'm just rambling here y'all but um yes yeah, so I'm applying this on my lips I didn't add any um lip liner you can if you want to I would go with something that matches your skin tone so that the color doesn't bleed. And this is the complete look, y'all. Super simple, a lovely springtime glam look. I'm really feeling myself, so don't mind me. I love this lip gloss so much. I don't really get to wear them a lot because matte lipsticks are in, but I hope you love this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.